Who were the top fighters that everyone thought were unbeatable until they suffered a shocking defeat? You won't want to miss our countdown of the top UFC hype trains that were derailed. From rising stars to established champions, no one was safe from a career-changing upset. Hello and welcome to our channel. Today, we're talking about the top 5 UFC hype trains that were derailed. These are fighters who were on the rise, generating tons of excitement and buzz, only to have their momentum come to a screeching halt. Some of these upsets were shocking, while others were more predictable. Either way, these fighters will always be remembered for their moments of triumph and defeat. So get ready for the ultimate countdown of the top UFC hype trains that were smashed. Giga Chikadze had an impressive start to his career in the UFC, earning four decision victories and three knockouts in just 10 months. His impressive finishes, including a devastating knockout of Cub Swanson in one minute, earned him a main event for the first time and a place in the top 10. As his confidence grew with a winning streak of seven victories, Chikadze began to challenge Max Holloway. However, instead of facing Holloway, Chikadze was pitted against Calvin Cater in a five-round fight. Despite boasting of being the best striker in the UFC and threatening to take on champion Alex Volkanovsky, Chikadze found himself facing a tough opponent in Cater, who relentlessly attacked with his offense. Oh, we're just beautiful. Beautiful. Look at that! Kelvin took advantage of that. He died. Huge. He launched through the air. He saw that he slipped. He thought, I have got to make In the end, Chikadze was disappointed to see the referee raise Cater's hand instead of his own, but he still maintained that he would beat Cater nine times out of ten. Unfortunately, we may never get the chance to see this prediction tested, as it remains to be seen what the future holds for Chikadze in the UFC. Despite his setback against Cater, he remains a skilled and formidable fighter, and it will be interesting to see how he progresses in the organization. Paige Van Zandt was once a rising star in the UFC, known for her signature smile and serious ambitions. In less than a year, she had racked up three consecutive wins, two of which were inside the distance, and the UFC was fully supportive of her career. However, things took a turn when she faced off against Rose Namajunas in a main event fight in 2015. Despite her best efforts, Nama Yunus worked aggressively on the ground, eventually finishing Van Zant with a rear naked choke. After a brief hiatus, Van Zant made a comeback with a knockout victory over Beck Rawlings, reigniting her hype and momentum in the UFC. Oh, oh, she rocked her on cue! Looking to finish this, but it is all over! Paige Van! However, this momentum was ultimately derailed when she faced Michelle Waterson in a main event fight. Despite putting up a good fight, Van Zant ultimately fell to Waterson. Since her time in the UFC, Van Zant has left the organization and found success as an OnlyFans content creator. Alexander Hernandez was a rising UFC star with an impressive record of eight wins and only one loss. When he was offered a short-notice match against the 12th-ranked Benil Dariush, Hernandez didn't hesitate to accept the challenge. With only a few weeks to prepare, he managed to secure a victory in a high-profile numbered event with a stunning first-minute knockout. Oh! Oh! Hernandez knocks out Benil Dariush! Oh! This victory caught the attention of many and solidified Hernandez's ranking in the UFC. However, things took a turn for Hernandez when he engaged in a trash-talking war with veteran fighter Donald Cerrone. I'll tell you this, little friend, I'll be sending your geriatric ass fucking yeehawing back to the stables on Saturday. The two fighters faced off in the octagon, and despite getting off to a strong start, Hernandez eventually fell to Cerrone. The loss was a valuable lesson for Hernandez, who has struggled to perform at the same level since. While Hernandez's initial rise to fame seemed promising, he has now become just an ordinary name in the roster. Despite this, he remains a skilled and formidable fighter, and it will be interesting to see how he progresses in the future. Oh. 
Gregor Gillespie was a standout college wrestler, earning All-American ranking four years in a row and winning the 2007 National Championship. He quickly made a name for himself in the world of mixed martial arts, winning the Ring of Combat belt and successfully defending it twice before signing with the UFC. In the promotion, Gillespie scored six consecutive victories, five of them by inside-the-distance knockout, making him a formidable force to be reckoned with. This earned him a spot on the main card of the UFC 244 event, where he faced Kevin Lee, a prospect who had recently lost twice and hired a new coach. Many believe that Gillespie had the skills to give even Habib Nurmagomedov a run for his money, and Gillespie himself declared that he would challenge Habib after defeating Lee. However, things didn't go as planned for Gillespie, as he was knocked out by a brutal shin to the chin in the first round. completely derailing his hype train and putting him out of action for over a year and a half. Ironically, Lee also struggled to find success in the organization and eventually went on to work for Habib. Despite this setback, Gillespie remains a skilled and talented fighter, and it will be interesting to see how he progresses in the future. Johnny Walker was a rising star in the UFC, with a background in regional promotions and a five-win streak that saw him finishing opponents in both the heavyweight and light heavyweight divisions. He caught the attention of the UFC with a victory on Dana White's Contender Series, and made his promotional debut in style, brutally knocking out Khalil Roundtree in just 15 seconds. Somebody want out! Fight against me! He followed this up with another quick victory over Justin Ledet and then defeated Misha Sirkunov in less than a minute. With his impressive finishing skills and entertaining fighting style, Walker became a fan favorite and was viewed as a breath of fresh air in a division that was starting to feel a bit stagnant. Despite an injury to his shoulder during his signature worm dance celebration, Walker remained confident and even called out former champion John Jones, with some fans giving him decent chances against the unbeatable 205-pound king. However, Things took a turn when he faced Corey Anderson in a fight that was not for a title shot, but could still potentially earn him a spot as a contender. Despite his confidence and promises to knock out Anderson in every interview, things did not go as planned for Walker. Anderson unleashed a devastating string of punches that left Walker unconscious and ended his hype train. On top of him, battered him, and then finished him. Since that devastating loss, Johnny Walker has struggled to regain his footing in the UFC. He has only come out victorious once in four fights, and his status as a top contender in the division has been myth-busted. Well, that's all for today. The UFC is a fast-paced and unpredictable organization, where even the most promising and hyped fighters can find themselves derailed by unexpected setbacks. Alexander Hernandez, Paige Van Zant, Giga Chikadze, and Gregor Gillespie are just a few examples of fighters who are on the rise only to have their hype trains derailed by tough opponents. Despite these setbacks, these fighters remain skilled and talented, and it will be interesting to see how they progress in the future. If you enjoyed this video on these fighters and their journeys, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more content on the world of mixed martial arts. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.